Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the church in this country. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you for all our leaders and workers. Thank you for all the members of the church. Thank you for the great things you've done. This is a new year. It's a new era. We're praying, oh Lord, there will be new opportunities this year in Jesus' name. Open the gates for your people. Open the miraculous for your people. Let there be revival in Jesus' name. Send your power down. Every brother, Every sister, every young person, will receive of your power in Jesus' name. Lord, give us the desire to enter into everything you have for us today. Confirm your word in every life. Let there be miracles in abundance tonight. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. We can sit down. As we begin tonight, tonight I have this message from the Lord for you. Entering through the open gate to the supernatural. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. I want to look for one word there. It says in verse 12, The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. Now, that means the door had been closed before. And he's saying the Lord shall open. It means that before you know the Lord, how many gates that are closed in your life, before the Lord has mercy upon you, there are many gates and many doors that are closed. But it says when you come to him, when you link up with the Lord, when you touch the Lord, when you allow the Lord to do something in your life, it says the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. Entering through the gate to the supernatural. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, Boundless promises for the supernatural supply. Boundless, limitless, without any limit. Boundless promises for supernatural supply. Number two, bold power over sicknesses and uh, satanic spirits. Bold power. Breakthrough power. A breaking power. A kind of power that like, like comes like a bulldozer. A bulldozer power. That every mountain of sickness that have been in your life until this night. I come with that power tonight. I come with that authority tonight. Every mountain will go. Every oppression will go. Every affliction will go. Every possibility in your life will go. The bold power over sicknesses and satanic spirit. Number three, believe the believer's passport for soaring success. A GD4, a passport to a Yetukon could give us power to soaring success. A GD4 passport to Yetuko in Kunimidium. If you get this, you've got everything. So, what's okay? Yeah, what's that? I have everything. And you remember what I did? I said tonight, I have everything. He said, You remember what I did? Tonight, I have everything. And you remember what I did? Number one, DDK. Number one, DDK. Countless promises. Look at the promises of the Lord for you. Everything I'm reading tonight is 
just for you. This is for you. I said, This is for you. It told me chapter 28 again. I'm reading from verse 12 and verse 13. Boundless, boundless, limited promise, unlimited, 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 unlimited promise. It says, The Lord shall open unto you the good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in a season. And to bless all the work of thy hand. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Every little thing, every big thing you do this year will be blessed in Jesus' name. And thou shalt lend to many nations and shall not borrow. The Lord shall make this the head and not the tail. The Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Long time the people of the world have been the head. Long time the people have been demonic powers have been the head. They control everybody in the community. They intimidate everybody in the community. Long time the people of evil powers, they are the people that they are the people that control everything. But this year things are changing. This year, you will be the head and not the tail. The head leads the way, the tails follow on. In every community, you will be the head. In your schools and colleges, you will be the head. In your cities and the provinces, you will be the head. It's the boundless promise of the Lord for the year. And then it says, and thou shalt be above only. I, I shall not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe and to do there. Psalm 34. We're looking at the boundless promises of the Lord. Psalm 34. I'm reading from verse 12. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? The Lord is asking for those who have the desire. And he said, This year I want to be different. You know, there are people that are just satisfied with empty religion. They're satisfied with what they got many years ago. But all that will change this year. They told me at the airport. One of those journalists uh, journalists was they were interviewing me in the, at the airport. Now And he said, Osofu, Pastor, uh, tell me, how is it? <laughs> Where is the Lord? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. He said, How is it that you know many of and he said in deeper life, he, he even pointed to deeper life. He said that many of uh, deeper life uh, people that she knows they are not married. They are waiting and waiting and waiting. He said, how long are they going to wait? I said, that's why I'm going to Kumasi to go and cut <laughs> short that waiting. <laughs> that's why I come. I said, that's why I come. All that waiting and waiting and waiting, I'm going to stop it. If you are not married yet, get ready. I came for you. You are married, no child, get ready. I came for you. Who is it that wants to see good days? You will see a good day. Your life will be beautiful. Every good thing you desire in your life, the Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. To wipe away your tears. 
Your life will never be the same again. Some 81, some 81 verse 10. In some 81 verse 10, here is what the Lord is telling you, challenging you. 81 verse 10. Here is what it says. Tonight is going to be a great night. I am the Lord thy God. When you become born again, I am the Lord thy God. When you forsake all your sins, I am the Lord thy God. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I am the Lord thy God. No more sin, no more evil, no more backsliding. I come to Jesus Christ. I'm going to stay with Jesus till the end of my life. I am the Lord thy God. The out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. I'm reading now from chapter 7 of Matthew. Matthew chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 7. Matthew 7, verse 7. Open doors. Open gate. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and shall be opened unto you. Knock and shall be opened unto you. Look at verse 8 of this. For everyone that asketh receiveth. Now be an obisan how many people are going to receive? Everyone, everyone, everyone that asketh receiveth. He that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Tonight is your night. It's a night of the open door. Countless unlimited promises for supernatural supply about you, I come to the bold power the breakthrough power the breaking power I come to this boundless power see this in Matthew chapter 8 Matthew chapter 8 I'm reading from verse 8 the centurion answered and said Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my husband shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my wife shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my children shall be healed. Speak the word only. And every member of our church will be healed. Speak the word only. That person there, your healing has come in Jesus' name. The moment you hear the word of power coming out of this place, I say, you are healed. That door of healing is open. And then you catch that miracle, you get it in Jesus' name. Tonight, tonight is that night. Look at verse 10. When Jesus had it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. In verse 13, and Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way. And as thou hast believed, Nas, so be done unto thee. That's the word he was expecting. When he said, speak the word only. And, and Jesus did not have to throw water on that child. Jesus did not have to rub his sand on that individual. In fact, the servant that was sick was far away. 
He didn't even anoint the hand of the centurion to say, Go and lay the hand upon that servant. Yes, Seize the man, says, Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. So Jesus did exactly that. And without any intermediary, and without any tool, and without what they call point of contact. He spoke the word. And he said, as thou hast believed. So be it unto you. And then, look at what happened. And the servant was healed. Just like you are going to be healed tonight. I said, This is your turn tonight. And your servant was healed. In the self same hour. It's like you telling me now. And he said, yeah, we'll catch now, me. You are going to be the centurion. Are you there? Where are you? I said, are you there? You are now standing like the centurion. You tell me. Catch me. Speak the word only. Tell me now. Catch me. Tell me. Catch me. Speak the word only. And I will be healed. Say it. Speak the word only. And I will be healed. Okay, I speak the word. Be you healed in Jesus' name. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. It has not changed. Tonight it has happened to you. You will have a testimony in Jesus' name. It takes sin away. It takes sickness away. The same process of getting salvation takes sin away. It's the same process of taking sickness away. Praise the Lord of my soul. And all that is within me. Praise his holy name. He forgiveth all thine iniquities. He healeth all thy diseases. The same way he took our sins away. He not said he takes our sicknesses away. And I said, Lord, I am.